been a while. Now by my watch. No. Yeah. I guess we are doubling up. I'm about to change my shirt, but now the secret's out. Uh, yeah, it's going on. It's been a while. It's been a while since Caleb's been here. First time in the new studio. Second guest in the new studio. Yeah. Hey, it's been a while. Y'all know Caleb. Y'all know Caleb. Uh, yeah, but, you know, before we get into it, uh, this I know you kind of stopped your Disney bit, but if there was ever one to have a, a nickname, you got a Disney nickname off the top of your head? No nickname. No nicknames ever? No nicknames. Okay. Disney Dave. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Short, sweet, to the point. Disney Dave. Your favorite uh, no nickname company. This is a rebrand. You just bought all the stock. You bought a lot of stocks in Disney. No, bro. Doge for the moon, baby. And you, I saw you buying Disney. Mm-hmm. We share an email. I got the Disney emails, bro. Mm-hmm. You bought lots of stock in Disney. And you love the new Mulan. <laughs> but. <laughs> no, nah, bro. I like Donny Osmond. Donny Osmond. Yay. They took his role out of the new one. Oh, right. Right. All right, this ain't about Mulan. This is about Disney, though. Um, one of the uh, the only heist in Disney history to to where I could find. Yeah, that you know of. That I, yeah. Not counting that Snickers bar I stole when I was in the first grade. That's pretty good. <laughs> did you, so, yeah, you were there in the first grade? Yeah. What did you do besides steal Snicker bars? Uh, I just went to Magic Kingdom for a day. Who were you with? My parents. Your parents? And they let you steal a Snickers bar? No. They really weren't watching you that well? No, I lied. <laughs> uh, but yeah i've been to disney twice both like as a basically an adult wasn't wasn't uh too magical as an adult you said you've never been caleb i've never been um, it's probably too late for me at this point the magic probably won't be there because it was be uncomfortable people in hot outfits yeah we know it's like, too late for you warm hot <laughs> smoking uh, sexy ass yeah you're giant you're- the ball gowns with the mini costume uh but yeah you'll have to wait till you potentially have kids to go i guess at this point we'll see yeah hopefully not (laughs) what's that mean oh i don't need any more harpers (laughs) okay but this is about such a wild story i just found out about this yesterday because bryson came down incoherently drunk and is like I'm, I'm gonna die on a roller coaster i'm gonna die on a roller coaster and we're like what are you talking about and he's like look up people dying on roller coasters and we're like no <laughs> and, <laughs> and then <laughs> we, we, we looked up incidents that happened at amusement parks and i looked up incidents that happened at disney specifically and in 2018 all of this came to light um as one of the biggest you know controversies of something stolen from disney uh so goddamn where to begin this is buzzy this picture here yuck you don't like buzzy this looks like a muppet no what the fuck do you mean no he looks like a little einstein he looks like that one kid from uh lazy town (laughs) he does like yeah yeah he looks like a lazy town (laughs) he does look like lazy town well, this is a very old animatronic. Not this one specifically, but you know how Disney has, like, shows made just for Disney? Like, for the kingdom? Yeah. So, there's this one called Cranium Command. Uh, and this is a major part of Cranium Command. He's the main part of this of this little show movie thing that Disney mm. um, has created. Uh, here it is. And the idea is that this ride is you're in the head of like a, a child and these are the eyes. So these are like the windows looking out and it's like all 4d. And it, it, this probably was pretty cool to see like in its prime, it closed down in 2006. Uh, but the real, uh, meat of it is that Buzzy was stolen in 2008 <gasps> and it's one of the most weird things ever. Uh, and it all revolves around this fella right here named Patrick Spikes. <laughs> And the the lore of this get, goes deep so quick because he had an account called Backdoor Disney. Backdoor Disney was a Twitter account that just he was an employee at Disney for a, like a year or two. And they and showed anal videos. Yeah, he, it was just back Mickey going in Minnie's backdoor. Um, that's all it was. Your favorite. Disgust. Your favorite. There's a an anal sex picture, a poster on your wall, Dave, over there. Where are we? What? So there's <laughs> – Backdoor Disney is an account that only posted stuff that kind of spoiled things at Disney. So it was behind-the-scenes pictures of 
all sorts of weird stuff. And it ori- originally was this was their logo. It now has a new logo and is under new management because of all of this controversy. This is their new logo. It's not, I, I think that's a little mm. bit cooler. Uh, but Back to Disney was a big deal and had a lot of followers. And they posted anything from stuff like this of just like real industrial um you know those are like jeeps or and some shit you know real immersion breaking <laughs> stuff like sides of rock being opened up for janitor closets like this you know big het piles of <laughs> so just plenty of stuff that like truly breaks breaking kayfabe breaking what kayfabe is that your bro rest? we've been over this term like 10 times what kentucky fabrication no <laughs> what? It's David's favorite it's like a industrial park. It's keep a K-fan. It keeps storyline. And he's from Kentucky? You're idiots. Move on. <laughs> God damn it. I hate doing this show. He's never coming back again. You say this every time, and yet you always come crawling back. <laughs> crawling back. So, you know, I, I, I picked a little hand selection of some, of some good ones. So, just, you know. She's your favorite. Heads off. Yeah, Edna Mode's pretty hot. Uh, you know, camera systems of things. You didn't actually, you have to think about the name. I would not have, <laughs> I would not have had that as as Edna as Mode. <laughs> She's the best part about Incredibles. Uh, there, the, you know, the movie. What is it called? The movie, th- big picture movie ride that like goes through all the different movies. Did you do that one? Mm-hmm, probably. They're getting rid oh, of. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're demoing that. So yeah. like stuff that you you know stuff like this that you're not supposed to see, not as the guest. This is a picture of how the haunted mansion ride works. Of the ghost being projected out, so there's like lights hitting these with mirrors that send them out to make them actually look like holog- like grams out mm. there, uh, you know, just some crazy stuff. Tunnels of Epcot. Now, the reason why I put the tunnels of Epcot in here, these are important um, because these were used probably for the heist. Hell yeah! Uh, and then you get stuff like this. <laughs> mm. And I think I think a lot of people enjoy the back door Disney. But they don't enjoy this side of it, yeah, uh, it's or a raunchy, or this side of it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I like that. Hell yeah! Speaking of back door, dude, <laughs> you're all about that, Dave. So this, Awful. but this episode isn't so much about backdoor Disney as it is about the creator and. Um, you know, the founder and the curator of Backdoor Disney, Disney um, Patrick Spikes, and his cousin, Blay- Spikes? Blayton Taunton. Uh, I, you would think that's Bryson's cousin, by the way. This name. is not Bryson's <laughs> cousin. Blayton is, I promise. Uh, <laughs> promise it's not. Uh, but, yeah, so that's a little bit of, about who he was. So he was just basically an employee at the park. Um, which was why he was able to kind of do something like this. So let's hop a little bit back to what is like Buzzy. So Buzzy is, this is one of the original like things of it. And it it sounds like it's like Buzz Lightyear. I keep thinking it's Buzz Lightyear because like the color, the green and everything. Is he military? Yeah. So what it is, is this Epcot thing called Cranium Command. It's in the Wonders of Life Pavilion and it closed in 2006, but it's, was it started as the head trip and it was three different pilots like showing emotion intellect and nervous it's kind of almost the premise for inside out yeah almost uh so then it was the head trip and then eventually became brain command and then eventually cranium command the three pilots they finally moved into captain cortex who was overconfident and cocky um, not well liked so then he eventually became sparky and then buzzy and became this little boy uh so the it's been going on for quite a while. I think it was like ninety six or something. So I thought that was very interesting. Uh, if you look over at animator David and designer X, that X stands for Xavier. Wow! Wow! So the an- the cute. the guy who made the real version, the animatronic, was a guy named Xavier, and the guy who actually animated all the stuff for him was named David, which is strange. Pretty cool. David's cooler than Xavier, I think. You think so? Yeah. He made the real ones, though. Hop back to David. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, I, I thought that was, uh, that was pretty wild that, that it happened to be like that. But, anyway, uh, so here's one of the more original, older versions of uh, – that was probably Sparky at this point. I don't care for that either. Yeah, he looks kind of freaky. And then eventually he became – 
buzzy here. He also is not looking great here. Yeah, the eyes are a little droopy. And this would have been – pretty sure this picture would have been after it shut down. But what's crazy about Cranium Command is it closed in 2006. There's a lot of people – that were really clued in on this and huge Buzzy fans. Like, there, I didn't put any in this episode, but you can find them if you put hashtag find Buzzy. There's a lot of people cosplaying Buzzy. What? A lot of people that would have never been able to see Cranium Command in its actual running. Dude, nostalgia has, like, taken over, and I'm sick of it. <laughs> oh, whoa. Just being nostalgic for bullshit. <laughs> I'm nostalgic for bullshit. Yeah. Be nostalgic for cool stuff like Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So you're anti-Buzzy at this point, it sounds like. I'm not a pro-Buzzy. <laughs> I kind of like his whole vibe, but I wouldn't dress like him to any sort of event. No. You did when you were in the military. You were in the army. You dressed just like that. <laughs> I, think it, I don't think so. <laughs> no, that's exactly what our uniforms look Neon like. Neon green. The only ones that we let, you know civilians like you see is is you know a real fancy stuff okay but you guys get real cash and look like buzzy yeah we give up the camo we give up the real dress uniforms <laughs> we just wear neon green and <laughs> shitty leather brown coats <laughs> so here is he used to be a little bit cooler back in this old animation uh but basically the idea is that it's a little boy inside his own brain and that he's his own brain so you see you know him making decisions um yeah, it's 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 very but out there. Who's inside of his brain? Is there an inception? Of <laughs> Is there infinite buzzies? Buzzy inception. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's all sorts of things. Uh, you know, all sorts of merchandise for for Buzzy. But real quick, we won't watch that much of it at all. But here's the actual. Here's it playing. Here's a recording of it, uh, and it's it's remastered. So they they're going. They're taking us all the way through. This must be a off day at Disney for this person to just have this this video in 2006 of like it running yeah we don't need all this so here's your little pre-show here's your animation then you actually go into the bigger room oh it's much harder to skip on this than uh, on my other computer <laughs> oh my god okay so like it looks pretty crazy and here he is like floating around in the uh, in the actual little ride thing you're seeing stuff in the different emotions. So this does look like a fairly impressive thing. So I understand why people care about it. But again, like I said, it's people that like wouldn't have been sentient to even be able to like see it really. So he swings around. He does all sorts of. You see him experience. He's waking up. You know, you get the gist. Oh yeah, there's left brain pops up, right brain. Those emotions still pop up on different screens, but they're not actually like animatronics like they used to be. Or he said they used to be. Uh, and uh, here's... Hang on. They should get Bo Burnham What's to do like a, like a remake of it. Oh, of the whole thing? Yeah. <laughs> this is the, I just, it, my mind just immediately jumped to left brain. I'm sorry. That was oh, I, s I see. <laughs> so here's the... Uh, here's it shut down. This kid got permission to go back here. Which is... Uh, Pretty cool. Yeah. But a lot of people try to take pictures in with him and stuff. But you see there's like a weird gap to where you could fall in. Um, but this would have been like four – the minimum of like – or no, this is more like eight years after this has been shut down. They put this light on him and kept him like illuminated. Um, and uh -huh. the reason why they did that uh, was supposedly – to stop vandals and okay and we'll we'll, it, we'll we'll see how that you know didn't actually do anything uh <laughs> well not if you're back to disney educated pretty shortly yeah not if you know all the the ins and outs of this yeah if you know how to get in and out of that back door so this is where it gets interesting so all those pictures that patrick spikes was putting up had no, there was nothing wrong with what he was doing. Obviously, Disney probably wasn't very happy about it. And they probably could fire him if they found out it was him. Um, but for whatever reason, they didn't, even though yeah, – we'll, we'll just see. So this is where it starts to get kind of damning. So I don't think there's anything wrong with what Patrick was doing. But it hit a certain point where he began to post things like this. <laughs> the buzzy head. Mm -hmm. Now – this has been highly 
debated on on this actual head and we'll talk about the, that in just a few minutes but so he started to post things like this now these are the it's a small world after all heads and he, these are not at disney anymore and on his snapchat here's a manual to something here's a wig here's some more wigs here's a big ass trash can from the park in like his garage Here's the Carousel of Progress, like, manual. So these little things are not at Disney anymore. So it appears – here's, like, a Hollister bag in the background. So – She have Bob Ross is that? Right. So Patrick started to steal things, apparently, from Disney. Uh, like this. This was also part of the museum – or the uh, Pavilion of Wonders that that was in. These are called figments. Here's a, a tiara. Here's a pretty big, like, animatronic of a dog that he got. Uh, another small world. <laughs> and here is his cousin Blayton's girlfriend in a dress that was later found out to be one of the dresses that the things in the Haunted Mansion ride wore. So he stole it. So he started to steal some pretty significant things. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Here's... Oh, yeah. Um, the thing about the dress, that's the inlining of the dress. <laughs> Here's where he got cocky. <laughs> Him wearing the wigs. <laughs> yeah, the posting on social media, I guess I'm just not really understanding. What? Was he just not worried about getting caught? Well, or? so originally what I think happened was he just got cocky. He was posting the backdoor Disney stuff, and I think what it kind of started to be is he would steal stuff for his own collection because I think he was, you know, just interested in the magic being broken because in the research that i've done for this it is really weird and cool to kind of see the back round scenes of this very magical you know place yeah like it sure. is cool to see the janky broken dirty ass side of it that is being swept under the rug quite literally like you know to not break the immersion of, of disney uh but so these pictures, he's actually posting to the Backdoor Disney account. To the Backdoor Disney account, I believe. Okay. And the uh, people – this is on his Snapchat. That's him with another Small World thing. I think here he was accused or he said something about it, and then he cha <laughs> put the allegedly with the little star. Uh, but, yeah, so it, it, it starts to get uh, starts to get pretty crazy. Um Right, uh, right about here. Uh, so this is when Buzzy went missing. This is Buzzy. He used to be part of the Cranium Command at Epcot before the attraction closed. He was saved, or he was to be saved as a part of Disney Parks history. He has been stolen. If you recognize him or know of his whereabouts, um, Orlando something Police Department, Orlando County, I don't know, city, city, whatever. Uh, the crazy part about him getting stolen is so what he had a tag on him that said do not destroy so basically disney puts up uh these special tags on stuff when they shut down rides so that nothing happens to them but they don't actually archive stuff for a really long time sometimes and they just let it sit there and become dust before they actually like replace the building so sometimes they shut down buildings a decade before they have any plans to replace it and they don't actually archive the stuff inside that's what happened with this. They got a tag put on it that said, do not destroy. And then uh, it just sat for 12 years until finally, in 2017, Buzzy was lit up 24-7 by a spotlight, likely to deter vandalism, although none had yet occurred. But in this year, Buzzy also oh, finally received his red tag uh, in 2017, and, which means they're considering it demolishing the attraction but it had just sat there for 11 years. And the red tag means do not destroy. Uh, so then around August, between, in, a week, in the first week of August, Buzzy's hat and clothes and supposedly his hands all went missing at once. And Weird. Yeah. And they, it was, you know, they, people were leaving and exiting the building. They, they fixed them up. Um, they put clothes on them. They put new eyes on him. So they're like fixing him up, but they're still just it's just sitting there and doing nothing. 
and is archived and like going to be protected one day, which already is just kind of like messy. So is all this going to be relevant or is this just weird? Ki- 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 weird, but kind of relevant. It adds okay. to just kind of the, the a whole lot of it just doesn't really make sense. Um, so then rumors swirl around, uh, you know, about this, about him getting fixed up and stuff. I'm sure word travels really weirdly within Disney. Uh, so then Spikes, at that point, had had backdoor Disney, and he had shown the secret areas. Uh, he actually had shown a picture of Buzzy still dressed in October 2018. But then, they in August 2018, they reported that it was stolen. And something that I thought was weird was Epcot used to stand for Experimental Prototype Community of Tomorrow just scary yeah now they dropped it and it just saying it's just epcot and it means nothing which is strange uh that they were like you know let's make this cool ass name uh that's really intimidating and then uh but anyway his hat and his glasses and stuff kind of resurfaced but we're not going to touch on that quite yet but anyway buzzy is officially gone and uh in being officially gone uh, you can see this very large wire is just, like, severed and just, like, sawed. And apparently there's, like, tons of hydraulic, like, fluid, like, all this oil and shit just in a oh, giant, giant puddle, like, where it was. So, like, you know, f- seems very hastily done, you know what I mean? Just leave giant piles of oil all over the ground. Uh, so that's when it was reported officially stolen. And that's when the internet... Started to catch word of it slightly. And what? When is this? Um, we're in December 2018. Sorry, okay. this is just all over the place. So people started to accuse him because he had that buzzy head. You know that picture is pretty, <laughs> pretty damning. That ripped apart so head. So is this also Patrick Spikes' Twitter account? I am not sure about this one. Uh, I think this one is actually him. So when he was removed the hydraulic lines were cut while pressurized a large amount of hydraulic oil spewed everywhere the police showed me photos of this it didn't look like it was carefully removed but this is backdoor disney will never die i don't know too much about the backdoor disney will never die account besides that it posted these few things which was arrest wasn't for theft i'm not going to post my mugshot believe it or not buzzy is gone if you look closely in the video, you can see where Buzzy was before I stole him. So this is back to Disney again. This is back to Disney again. This one, I can't tell if this one's real. I don't know what. This is just a, a confession, if so. Yeah. Uh, and then these mugshot memes are pretty funny. Uh, keep it up, peeps. Um, you know, people are Photoshopping him on the <laughs> all sorts of shit, bro. The yeah. Wi-Fi in my GL cell is shit. Uh, so this, this was, you know, a strange back and forth, but it appeared that Patrick had actually been arrested or, like, you know, was being charged for it at this point. And here's the actual court papers uh, where, you know, it, it was <laughs> pretty pretty real at this point. Uh, so the reason why it finally happened was supposedly there was pictures of the clothing in his vehicle. So I don't know why he would just have the clothes out, like, on his back seat. For people to be able to take pictures of it, you'd think that you would hide it more than that, not just have it in your car just sitting somewhere. But, you know, I'm sure you, you, you could be sloppy and not expect someone's going to come up into your driveway and take pictures through your car. But uh, this was also when they found out that the dress from the Haunted Mansion was sold to some random guy for like a thousand bucks or like over a thousand bucks. And uh, <laughs> that's when they really figured out that he was stealing stuff and, like, selling it. So the dress is, like, for sure that he got caught for selling the dress um, to some random guy. That got traced back to him. Uh, and the clothes and stuff got traced back to him. But the big thing is the buzzy animatronic itself is wasn't wasn't accounted for. It just wasn't found yet. In, um, in this situation. So it looks like what they did, though, to get in was he they had a fake employee ID for Jack D. Marrow. So they actually made, like, a fake <laughs> Disney and ID mm-hmm. off of his cousin, off of Patrick's ID. And then Patrick either was fired and they weren't – They Disney's real secret about well, some of the details. So they would never say whether Patrick was fired or not. And they wouldn't say whether he worked there currently or not when this happened but he had his actual id 
and you know they're just acting like they know what they're doing. Yeah. They're in Disney clothes, and they're just you know. My guess would be that he settled out of court. They got some of the stuff back, and they signed something that said like we're not going to put anything out there. Well, they settled in court. In court? They settled in court. Okay. I got footage of them settling in court. Uh, so, but just Disney's real weird about it. They won't say whether he was there at the time, but basically they were fully, like, you know, Ocean's Eleven. They're fucking got fake name tags and shit sneaking in. Um, the big thing that is crazy about this is Buzzy, that animatronic, weighs anywhere between 250 and 600 pounds. So you need a couple burly boys to carry it anyway. That's the thing. It, yeah, like, this is a big motherfucker. And the whole, like, you see, like, where those tubes go up to him and they go into that pink thing down there? Mm-hmm. That's what was cut. So the whole chair and him, everything, gone, taken. Not just him. And I'm assuming that that's basically, like, 5'8 from the bottom of the chair no, maybe maybe like four and a half feet from the bottom of the chair up to the top of his head, at least. Like that's pretty big, you know. So it's a it's a significant thing to sneak out of there, and it also goes to show like, is there no cameras at Disney at all for them to not see <laughs> something like this? Being yeah, I feel moved? like if they were having, it'd be, it'd be go back a Disney, couple slides yeah. to the uh, it was the longer the two affidavits because at the bottom it had a timeline of how they carried out a theft yeah which is real good that they have that uh because all right so they took a photo at the utilidor uh area of the magic kingdom access for employees only uh they had backstage passes and stuff so do a name tag that says jose i don't ever remember that's the first I, I I actually didn't read that this section of this. So Jose, that's a new one now. So it starts to get weird because everything you read, it says it's worth different amounts of money. It says it's a different weight. It says it like happened at a different time, or it like for sure happened, or it didn't happen. Uh, it's different names. It's just a lot of fucking shit. And the fact that they're they're taking photos of each other, um. Are so weird, but wait, this yeah. says um, duh, 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 duh. this is where they okay, this is where they stole the dress. So they for sure, this is what this is talking about them stealing the dress. And the uh, so the dress was before, and they for sure did that, you know, right? But so it looks like he has more than one fake ID, I guess, then, or there's some sort of weird misinformation with the Jose. And the uh, <laughs> Joe Jose, it could be. Right, yeah. Uh, so, you know, here's just another one of the pictures he did. Um, you know, now we're at a cumulative of 30000 So it just keeps going up. They just keep raising the prices on these things with everything you read. Uh, here's the actual, um, the actual, like, fandom for Cranium Command. And this is saying, uh, you know, just the the bare minimum. It was cut, no footage received. Uh, it was probably back towards Disney because he had this decapitated head. So going back to that decapitated head, a lot of people said that that's like a model. And yeah, it, posted a photo of a rubber mold. Of, yeah, of a rubber mold. But there's no information about that. I can't find anything actually saying, okay, this is the this rubber mold is here right here. I've I haven't seen anything saying this rubber mold is like for sure not real. Nothing says that at all. Like there's just this picture that Backdoor Disney tweeted, which obviously they could just save the image, but I can't find any origin of whether this is actually that or not. You think well, I don't think it matters. Well, it definitively puts the buzzy head in his house. If it's not, it puts a de- a completely vandalized and stripped yeah. clean buzzy head in his kitchen. If it's not a model, but the thing is, is, there's just there's nobody that's like, oh yeah, that was my model. There's no like Disney collector that's like, oh yeah, the buzzy head. That's a not a real buzzy head. There's no actual names tied to that. They just say, oh, it's that wasn't real. 
Um, cause to me, this is a damning ass photo to have this tweeted on the account. And that is the buzzy head. I mean, it's a good, it's a, it's perfectly that if it's not, I was looking at these creases and the cheeks and shit. When was this posted in relation to the, to the, to the actual theft or any of the other information oh, coming out? Is okay. May 12th. I guess that says May 12th. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So that seems way before that. So I guess that's probably how it did because it was technically still there. So I didn't actually r realize that. So this does appear to be, yeah, not uh, the the thing. But it, it being on his account, <laughs> you know. Free Petty Spikes, he didn't do it. Definitely uh, adds to it. But that's not why they're saying it was because he did the dress. <laughs> the dress was for sure. Right. Um, and also the, uh, the clothes. But, yeah, Patty Spikes, so far, I'm – I'm still pro Patty Spikes uh, all the way. Okay, here we go. You're pro Patty Spikes? I think I'm pro Patty Spikes. For what Spikes. reason? Just It's cool to steal? It's kind of cool to steal. That's why I'm pro Patty Spikes. That's pretty That's pretty tight. So Coming from Disney Parks, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so no this has done that. So this is when the internet catches wind of Buzzy Big Missing. <laughs> and it gets blamed on, you know, what was popular at the time. And, uh... You know, people, people, a couple people did. <laughs> How the Urbex are still buzzy by back to Disney. Where in the world is Captain Buzzy? <laughs> uh, this a little, I like that one. This one's a little more recent, too, because this was all years ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So someone went back in and uh, <laughs> shout out this person. Made this one. You know, but people look, people are, they care about Buzzy. And uh, I guess. What do you mean you guess? The, the, they do. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> buzzy. Good for them. They're still fucking dorks. <clears throat> yeah, what is... I don't get it. Hi, with, like, I'm Disney Scott things. Curtis. Yeah. Like, is, I would get that it's, like, fun while you're there, but I would get over it pretty quickly. Right. You know what I mean? Here's the... Like, it would be fun. Here's the voice of Buzzy. The voice of Buzzy from Epcot's Cranium Command. You've been inside my head, so you probably already know what I think about my pal Buzzy going missing. It's a real shame to lose such a great piece of history from the wonders of life. And if Disney had used a bit of their left brain, he would have been properly archived instead of abandoned for years, opening the doors for a theft like years. this to happen. But maybe, maybe, with your help, we can help find Buzzy and bring him home. So the voice of Buzzy trains jujitsu with the Crazy family. What? Royce Crazy is the dude who won like the first two UFCs. In Brazilian Jiu -Jitsu. <laughs> and the voice of Buzzy trained with him? I guess he's got a Charles Gracie uh, Jiu Jitsu hat on. How easy probably... is it to get those hats though? <laughs> I don't know. You gotta be a black belt. It's black hats now. They do black hats. Yeah. That's different. <laughs> <laughs> it's the system Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> yeah, it's different from belts. So. I just thought that was wild that the voice of Buzzy was like, oh, fuck, we got to find Buzzy. So, obviously, it is circulating online at this point that Buzzy is stolen and Buzzy needs to be found. But uh, here is a <laughs> 3D model someone made of the Buzzy head so that you could print your own. And your very own Buzzy animatronic. That's right, kids. You two can pretend to commit grand <laughs> larceny burglary and dealing in stolen goods. <laughs> Simply print the head and place it in a dark room and wait for the cover at night. I walk away with at least 27 cents in filaments that you yourself printed. So this dude is obviously angry. Um, uh, I feel like there's way cooler shit to steal. Way cooler shit to steal. So, yeah, I had that question. What would you steal from Disney? <clears throat> Do you know? How, like, all that, like, what? I know you haven't been to Disney, Caleb, but I'm sure you've seen like videos. One of the heads, like of one of the one of the mascots that wears like a full costume. It's like a Mickey head. Like a, like a Mickey head or a Minnie head or Goofy or someone. That would be probably Goofy if I had to pick one. Yeah, because that's there's so many of them and those probably break all the time. Yeah. So that one's that was probably aren't worth that much compared to some of this shit. Like and the, that would be more because like you can just put that on, you know, walk around and that'd be funny. <laughs> right. How about you? What are you stealing? I'm breaking into the cafeteria and stealing all the recipes, bro. Oh, dude, speaking of that, so apparently there's donuts at one of them, at one of the things, like the Disney official, like, vendors. And I got to say, so from Backdoor Disney, he does, or he was, getting a lot of weird inside shit. Like, the all the donuts at this one place are actually Krispy Kreme and only the staff knows hmm. and a little bit darker. He also did a full interview with a woman who uh, is like boss, supposedly 
sexually assaulted her, and then he just got a week of sensitivity training, and she got fired. So Backdoor Disney was, you know, fighting the good fight with some of the darker things that was happening at Disney. Oh, and there's some messed up stuff. dude. I've read articles. I've read all sorts of stuff about. Right. So, you know, I think ultimately, you know, he was stealing shit, but, you know, something that sat there for 11 years, it's not like it was actively being looked at by anybody. You weren't supposed to be back there. Like, you had to get special permission to take videos and go back there. So, ultimately, it seems like he really wasn't doing that bad, you know, of everything. But we got the... So, if I really had to steal something, i probably hit, like, Hollywood Studios. I'm sure that's where, like, the value's at is, like, oh, artifacts. Oh, yeah. Because there's the... Or just in the vault, bro. The Disney vault. What's the... There's that one restaurant that's got, like, fucking... Oh, Hollywood Studios or something like that. Or Hollywood... I don't know. Planet? Planet know. Hollywood or something. Yeah, it's got... It had, like, the axe from Shining yeah. on the wall, and it had, like, the urn from... That's where I'm robbing, dude. From Ghost? Or is... Yeah, go, is that what it's called? Ghost? With the pottery? Ghost? Yeah. Yeah. yeah they, had the, they had the, the vase. Yeah, Whoopi mm-hmm. and Swayze, bro. Yeah, they had that there. So, yeah, that would honestly probably be the place to actually go. Um, but also, you got to think of are, – are you trying to keep it or are you trying to sell it? Both. Because those you're not going to be able to sell to, like, a lot of – most people wouldn't buy those because they would – So the black market's for, baby. Yeah, I know. But, like, most Disney collectors – I guess that stuff's not Disney. Um, I'd say most Disney collectors, though, know their shit from what I, like, researched and, like, you know – the fact that he found two people to buy stolen stuff is it seems including like Robin Lopez. Well, there's a yeah, a little jump ahead, but <laughs> pretty sure you already had it on the screen. Yeah, it was point. up there. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. I didn't uh <laughs> I didn't I didn't go that into it yet though. But yeah, so here's here's a video he put up on on the Twitter. This video was a big lie. But unfortunately, it's not. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I like that. So there's been a lot of talk about Buzzy (laughs) recently. Um, Was he stolen? Was he removed? Who stole him? Who removed him? Um, But to find out, we got to go all the way back to where it started. Where the rumors started. Anyways. So my name is Patrick, and I'm the one who created Backdoor Disney. In November, I was accused by Disney and Orange County uh, Sheriff's Office County, of stealing an animatronic named Buzzy Choppers. that was worth $120,000. Well, that's kind of what she asked is this me. California? Huh? Is this California? Orange County? Or is there also Oh, Orange no, this County is Florida. Florida. It must be in Florida. Weird. Yeah. Because, yeah, I'm almost certain this is Florida. Uh, but, yeah, the... Uh, <laughs> Orange County just threw me off. Yeah. So, just a little history before I start the story. Um, Buzzy was an animatronic from a show called Abandoned. Uh, they didn't gut anything. They left everything sitting how it was. Um, well, the entire area became like a urban explorer's like paradise and stuff back there. And it had been visited by many, many people. So late November, I believe November 27th actually, or 28th, I get a phone call and it's from Disney. And at this point, I already had separated myself from the company. I no longer work for them. Um, and it's somebody saying, hey, man, like, you got a second to talk? I said, yeah, what's up? Um, they said, well, something went missing. And we know you've been inside of the area where it went missing from. And I said, OK. They said, we know you're back to Disney. I said, OK, fair enough. <laughs> That's not hard to figure out. Um, <laughs> Post a picture of yourself. Well. Uh, also, I don't know if it's still active, but I did find the snap code. I have added the the original backdoor Disney Snapchat mm. and sent a message to them. They've yet to respond. I doubt he'll talk to us, but you know. are they active at all? Do they still post stories? They won't. I I can't see unless they accept me. So oh, I'm not right. sure. And it was a, it was an old archived snap code picture. So it will, like. Cause, oh, so the thing about the Backdoor Disney is it's now under new management. They got the new logo. It was it was scrubbed clean when all of this happened. I think he sold it off to somebody who was going to do it and not be stealing stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, so yeah. someone who's still working there can get the content. Well, now it's uh, like a, a lot more user submission. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So it's a lot of people because some there's if you go ask, can I go in this building and film? They're like, yeah. It's weird how if you ask, they kind of let you do stuff. If you're like, I'm a YouTuber, I'm an urban explorer, they'll let you in. That's pretty cool. But you probably got to sign your name or they take a picture of your ID or something. Yeah. But then you go and do it. Uh, so they're pretty like open and let a lot of you know people do that. But it's employee submissions, people submissions. It was Buzzy, the animatronic. The entire thing got cut like off this base and, uh, and got stolen. I said, wow, like, really? The entire thing got stolen? Like, I didn't really believe it. Um, hey, Joe Blow, you know, do you know Joe Blow? And I'm like, uh, no, I don't know. I don't know who that is. Why? And they're like, oh, um, there's a theory. Uh, it's, you know, um, and they got my phones, but why? Um, like, I've thought about, I've thought a lot about it, but it almost seems like they wanted my phones because they knew I had a bunch of backstage photos on them, and, like, if my phones got confiscated, you know, like, all of a sudden, I don't have any more photos. So, in this video, you know, I skipped a lot. All of this is, you can find it and watch the whole thing, but he basically says, uh, you know, they wanted my phone really bad, and, um... They kept trying to take his phone, and that was that was the main thing. So there's actually footage. And I, I don't know. Wait, what, we saw this video last night. We time. saw this yesterday. Caleb hasn't seen this, though, of him to be interrogated. Um, and he's able to be on his phone here, and supposedly he was tweeting right now. And he could have been deleting the stuff, but instead he was tweeting... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for you see your time. Uh, you know you're worried about on the phone, like getting trust and all And that. here. Right, I'm not you. So this these photos work. we see here on the table, I can't find them in their true form. These are supposedly the photos of the clothing in his car taken like through the window without a search warrant because that's allowed if you can see right in the car. And that looks like the hat and stuff, you know, but like it's – it's weird that these pictures aren't leaked, but this video is out there, I guess, also. Uh, that's your leg. These are the things you had in your possession. We want them back. If you're going to sit here and tell me this isn't your car, I know that's your car. It's like a BMW to me. It is, but it's your car. There's unique features on it. Oh, shit. Okay. I actually, spoiled it. They said... Keep the car there. And we're keeping your phone. And actually... No, give me that... <laughs> he fucking snatches his phone. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> I'm under arrest. Okay, I'm gonna cooperate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know Florida's a little loosey goosey with their now. police laws, okay, but I don't think they're uh, doing things they're supposed to in a lot of states. Yeah. What? Okay. He asked if he's under arrest. They don't answer him. Yeah. All he did was grab his phone. They tackle him. Right. And I don't. He couldn't leave the room. We're, not you know. we're gonna get some handcuffs and we're gonna secure you right now. Yeah. He didn't like get up to leave, did he? I think he just grabbed his phone and then he saw they were coming for him. Um, there's a really funny line here at the end. <laughs> no, you were being detained. Am I under arrest though? I believe, I don't think you can keep me if I'm not under arrest. Just keep saying the word lawyer. Oh, okay. Yeah, which he shouldn't lawyer. have come here. Lawyer, he shouldn't right, have done lawyer, this, lawyer. this right, talk. So, uh, not under arrest. Can I leave? No, no, you're being detained. You're being detained. Just close that. Right here. How long? Indefinite at this point. I'll let you know. Hey. I call my mom and tell her that. You're an adult, correct? Yeah. I'm not calling your mom. Stay there. <laughs> okay? You have simple instructions. You, you should be able to do a phone call, call right? Well, fuck this fat it. fucking oh, pig. <laughs> I hope, god damn it. Yeah, any right, lawyer with his salt, I feel like, should have gotten him at least in a lot less trouble after this video leak. Yeah. But do you know how they made it up? It was 120000 at that point. Yeah. Dude, by the end of it, 
it's at 400,000. It, they just keep moving up the number, and it's like, where? Also, where the fuck is that number actually even coming from? It's yeah. a it's a collector's item, so it would be what someone's willing to pay for it, I guess. Yeah, they don't fucking pay four hundred thousand dollars for Bozzy. Mm. I'm sure a lot of people put a lot of work. Uh, Xavier, you know, great at making animatronics, he would have put in his work. You know, I feel like I mean, hundred thousand dollars for Pokemon cards, bro. Whatever the lawyer is able to convince the judge, it's worth. Right. Right. So, we're in court, baby. <laughs> Styling. We're in court, baby. Blatant looking good in the back, too. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. <laughs> no fear. Probably should have a little bit of fear, but no fear. Disney's lawyers, man. There he is. There he is. Uh, so, yeah, here we go. Here's them side by side. And, uh... Let's do it. So what happened is, because I don't want to hear these fucking geek ass lawyers talk, you know what I mean? <laughs> Thank God. They've been charged with dealing stolen property, grand theft of at least 10000 and burglary in the Magic Kingdom between July 2018 and July 2019. In addition... Spikes was charged with burglary in Epcot, according to court records. Patrick Spikes was sentenced to 10 years probation, 250 hours community service, plus $25,308 in restitution, plus court fees. His cousin, Blayton, not Bryston, uh, 24, was ordered to five years probation, 125 hours community service. They are both banned from Disney property. And under the plea deal, Spikes pleaded no contest to dealing stolen property. And uh, Taunton pleaded no context test to grand theft. So if you hear that, he got banned. That was the final thing was you're banned from Disney. Can you tell us what happened to the uh, other merchandise that hasn't been recovered yet? Smiling but saying nothing, Spikes and Taunton headed for the elevator. Despite what the judge told them just minutes earlier. You will not return to any Disney property while you're on probation. Anything you want to say? I'm going to Disney World. I <laughs> <laughs> does feel like he just won the Super Bowl, bro. <laughs> yeah, That's not going to jail. Uh, that was the funniest thing he could have said. I'm going to point. Disney World. So it's only while he's off probation, so in 10 years, he could go back. He could go back in 10 years, Damn, dude. what's going to be there in 10 years? What's there right now that's going to be going out pretty soon? See, I got that actually pretty, pretty soon. Um, so here's <laughs> a picture he did, I think, taunting – um, oh, he does have a California hoodie on. I don't know. This, it doesn't matter. Say tomatoes, tomatoes. He uh, did say Disney World, though, which is, once again makes me think Florida. Yeah, it's Florida. The videos yeah. all said Florida, but. So now our NBA player wear the glasses, the clothing, and the hat made it up to. <laughs> What's his name? That's Robin Lopez. He's got a brother who plays in the NBA, too, Brooks. Who's a his twin, right? Yeah, yeah. So, huge Disney fan was contacted by Backdoor Disney somehow, secretly said, "I got the buzzy glasses, I got the buzzy clothes, I got the buzzy hat. What's up?" I think he sold it for seven grand to this NBA player, dude. <laughs> this man <laughs> paid seven grand. Didn't check it at all. Was just like, yeah, I'll buy Buzzy shit and bought, <laughs> and bought all the Buzzy shit. But obviously, huge Disney fan because look, goes back him at Disney with his twin in '94. <laughs> wow. He would have been fucking enjoying that Cranium Command as a small boy, getting the nostalgia instilled into him. You know, all of a sudden he's got this NBA money. Someone hits him up. Got the glasses, clothes, and hat of his favorite thing at Disney. Seven grand chump change for an NBA yeah, player, bro. dude. <laughs> Get it. That's one commercial. So then they finally found out, like, he had it. And he was like, oh, shit. Like, I didn't know. And they're like, we, we, we know. Like, and, he, <laughs> and he gave it back. I don't know if he got his money back. Maybe that was part of the, the 23 grand that Patrick owed. Um, but just crazy for it to end up. It was just like the perfect fucking twist for it to just end up with this son of a bitch. One of the most like, like he looks like he's from Skyrim. Like he looks like a Nord. Yeah. 
Like, <laughs> I would not fuck with this man. And he's buying the buzzy outfits. But now one of the crazy things about it still is the hands. The hands are so, it's so debated on whether the hands were stolen or not. And I feel like it shouldn't be. Why the fuck is it not figured out whether the hands were stolen? And I think then, just because Disney don't want to say. Huh? Just because Disney doesn't want to say. They're keeping it secret. That makes it so sketchy. And we're not, we're not done yet. So, you know, he got this shit fucking wild. Um, here it is. It's fine. Bars faces, you know, all the, all the, the felony charges. So this is what's replacing it. After all this time, it's supposed to open this summer. It's called Play. The Play Pavilion. And guess we'll learn how to draw Disney characters with Edna Mode. Okay. Still my favorite, like you said. Hotel Heist, interactive game. Nick and Judy from Zootopia. You know, there we go. We got an arcade. Is that the rabbit and fox? I think so, yeah. 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 And then Joy and Sadness. You'd think that they might. Are they maybe remaking Cranium Command with Inside Out? I'm sure. That makes sense, you know what I mean, to redo the whole thing. But that whole place is now being demoed. Um, it's just crazy that it took that long. You know what I mean? You'd think that they wouldn't just shut shit down. And from what it I don't know, dude. The parks are so massive. There's so much shit to shut down. It's just like, oh, this thing isn't working. Let's shut it down. Yeah. You're working on a million things. It takes them four or five years with right some of these attractions they're putting out. But this Pavilion of Wonders, or the Wonders of Life Pavilion, does sound really cool. I wish I would have been able to actually like see this like in its prime because it does seem like one of the cooler parts and completely original to the park. It doesn't exist outside of Disney, which I don't give a fuck about Disney stuff. But it is crazy how big of a platform they've built and like – that people are creating stuff solely for the park, and they're you know that that's just how much content they have. Um, but you ready for it to get weird? Yeah. I actually found him, uh -oh. and uh, I did an interview with the Orlando Weekly newspaper last night. And uh, yeah, I, I found Buzzy. <laughs> and he, what? He's not stolen. Yeah, he's not stolen at all. And that's the weird part. You can use this in your podcast all you want. Um, it's a guy that works at Disney. I made some calls around. You know, I still, I'm in the industry. I know a lot of people out there at Epcot and stuff. And what happened was somebody did steal his hat and his coat. And more importantly, people were getting up there and trying to get their picture taken with Buzzy. Never seen any of those. Which is kind of hazardous because there's like a pit underneath him. You know, you could easily fall and, and hurt yourself. And Disney didn't want that. So uh, I guess WDI and uh, facility maintenance removed Buzzy off his perch. Thank because, you. It, you know, it would have taken a ladder and at least three guys to get that thing down. And they did it so that people won't come in there anymore and hurt themselves. But they didn't bother to notify security or operations. Uh, it's in trouble. Uh. So as soon as the operations people oh. saw that it was missing, they just went crazy. He's been stolen! And it blew up into this huge thing that Disney won't comment on now because they don't want to they don't want to be any part of the whole conspiracy. You know, they don't want to um, comment sure, on any yeah. of it. So yeah, I mean, Buzzy's still there and he's still in the at Epcot. He's just not on his perch anymore. So why? So that guy just got fucked over for... I mean, he did steal other stuff, and he was selling other stuff. Or, like, is this real? What's real at this point is the problem. Is this a guy that used to, like, work at... He knows a bunch of people at Epcot, used to work at Epcot, used to do stuff for Disney. And, by the way, this dude's name is um, Dave who... Dave, there's too many goddamn Daves in this podcast, bro. There's too many Daves in this world, dude. Dave who Ensign. Um, and he did stuff with animatronics, with animation, it looks like, like for Disney. And like you said, he's got a bunch of connections over at Epcot, and they, they still got it. Why the fuck? It was reported. Sorry. Stolen. And it was just because maintenance went and took it and didn't <laughs> tell anybody? That's a false police report on yeah. Disney's part, dude. That's not a false police report. Dude, come on. The fact that they don't have their shit together enough that they're moving th moving things that are potentially stolen and it it never came out. It comes out on this these random dudes' podcast that this guy came on. Well, Which, yeah, I guess out, why so would you put it out there other than, hey, we found it, but... 
to just I don't be, know. I'm guessing we're wrong. They found they found Buzzy's clothes though, so obviously dude was still stealing shit. They probably investigated it, found him out, and then weren't like, oh, we're gonna put out the information that we found Buzzy. We're just gonna put out the information that hey, we busted this dude stealing shit. I know, but they in the police report it says Buzzy has been stolen. Yeah, and they probably did think that at the beginning. I, but if they found out that he was not stolen. They you still try to there, so that way that the fans of Buzzy will finally know peace. I guess <laughs> that's so. true. Uh, except Disney, like me, says, "Who gives a fuck about Buzzy fans?" Yeah, they'll finally find closure. Apparently, a lot of people do, which is strange to me. It Why? is. I don't care, and Disney don't care. <laughs> but that's the thing is, like, they won't admit they're wrong if this is real. Oh, well, it's which, Disney. I don't think it matters though. Yeah, but they start, well, they still try to charge him for it, and even at the end, they're like, "Where's the rest of the missing stuff?" Apparently, at Epcot. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, but I mean, we don't know when away. they found out. We don't know. I know. It's just crazy that it's still unknown. Buzzy is still missing to this day. No one knows for sure, and that blows my mind. That this whole fucking well, let's catch someone at Disney. Who's has anyone asked Disney? Who him himself? The media has anyone asked Disney? If someone says, "Hey, did you ever find Buzzy?" I don't. And then they lie. Then they're covering something up. They say, "Oh yeah, we found Buzzy." I don't think anybody has asked formally maybe it should be us let's put in a request yeah maybe, maybe we should like hey we really need to know but you know how do you ask disney something like, <laughs> disney just like tweet at him <laughs> where's buzzy hashtag find buzzy <laughs> have you seen me find buzzy cranium command bring him home people want to know about buzzy it blows my mind but everybody wants to know where the fuck he's at. And something else that doesn't get mentioned at all until right now is there was a little robot guy that works with Buzzy, another animatronic. Here he is. He's got the tag, Do Not Destroy. It was ripped out. Never mentioned, ever. There's just so many weird that, things the other thing about that this. Makes me question the whole maintenance thing. Is they're saying that, but then they're also like, oh, yeah, it was definitely hastily removed, and there was the oil slick there. Hastily removed. Why would they ever just let oil pour everywhere? Flammable oil is still there to this day in a big fucking nasty I pile. Have, I have done similar things at work, to be fair, to avoid doing more work. But it, when there was already things stolen, like if it was – you wouldn't – you know what I mean? If it was like, hey, this thing got stolen, you would be like, okay. And I feel like you would just – be treading more lightly so that you didn't get any oil or buzzy blood on your hands. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, and it, and it's like and so, like somebody's gonna have to well, like. I just spilled a bunch of like gasoline outside and didn't tell anyone because we would have had to like dig up the ground so it didn't. <laughs> like it's just like fuck that. <laughs> I'm trying to go the fuck home. One time, Caleb made a mistake at work that cost the company thousands, and we had to redo like an entire field. That oh my was God. not like entirely my fault. That was more on the person who actually planted the stakes. Because mm. I I wrote like like two thousand stakes in one day. It's totally normal to miss one. That was on. Uh, 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 happy. I, I don't want to use her real name, but you know what I'm talking about. That, <laughs> yeah, bitch. Here's what I'm saying. Here's Walt Disney. That's not my fault. Walt Disney World news today. It was stolen. I don't think they technically have any f affiliation. Um, but you know, here's people talking about it. I believe this is the new guy who took over Dark. Or, oh, this Dark Side Disney. Sorry, it's not Ooh. Backdoor Disney. So this is another uh completely different thing. Trying to figure it out. Uh. Yes, I have three strong sources saying it was. The alternative is a huge coordinated disinformation campaign that is resulting in some terrible publicity for Walt Disney World security. So regardless, like, Disney is fucking up in, like, some way, it appears. Um, well, but that was – we kind of knew that. Right, yeah. But I want to know where Buzzy is. I got a shirt on the way. Where's Buzzy? <laughs> 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 and um, I've also seen a couple of people's theories that he realized, okay, sold the glasses, sold the stuff, you know, maybe this head, turns out this head might not actually be his, you know, um, you know, maybe this isn't actually the real buzzy head after all, but maybe Patrick Spikes realized, fuck, there's no way I'm going to be able to sell buzzy now, they're in Florida, gator food, is buzzy in a swamp somewhere, is he covered so up? Bryston said – Is he for, with a friend of Blayton? Yeah. Bryston, different, said uh, sharks and alligators are smart. They would never eat plastic. I said, 
Have you seen when they cut <laughs> when you see when they cut open sharks and there's like tires and license plates and he goes, Yeah, sometimes. I go, Yeah, well they're not cutting sharks open all the time to see what's in their stomachs. So I mean this fucking thing comes over full of algae in a swamp, a gator's hungry. It's chomping that, dude. It's gonna We need new roommates. See. Bro. It's gonna see. Agreed. But that's about it with the whole buzzy thing. And what just blows me away is that now it is supposedly at 400,000 is what it says. It's still missing. You know, Patrick's not in that much trouble. And Buzzy's still alive. So, you know, I really wish Patrick would talk to us. It's probably in his best interest not to talk about this much He's at still all. on probation. I He's bet he pro- can't. probation for eight or nine more years. <laughs> so, like, he probably not. But, God How damn it. How would I get blatant, though? I bet blatant five years, yeah. But, God damn it, what I love in eight or nine years to befriend Patrick Spikes and be with him at Disney World <laughs> when he is able to re-enter the park after a decade of being exiled for potentially their mistake of just not having shit figured out. Well, no, he stole a lot of things. <laughs> he, did steal, he did steal a lot of things. Which is cool. Um, you know, stealing from Disney, you know. And some of the stuff he stole, like some of them old ass, it's a small world heads. No, fuck it. What's that? They're just going to sit in a little case. Yeah. The buzzy is significant and big, and the 600-pound thing is just kind of like, that means there was like four men, I've probably, that did it with a ladder. So it's like the security fucking up and maintenance fucking up. All right, but right before we go, I got one last thing. Um, I wanted to look up things stolen from Disney, and this is basically it. There's only one other thing, and I'll go through it really quick just because... It's basically the only other thing that was ever stolen from Disney. Um, or not stolen from Disney, but even stolen, like, at Disney. Which you think is, you think more like thefts would happen at Disney. You know what I mean? But one mom was enjoying a day at Hollywood Studio Walt Disney World when things went horribly wrong. Lauren Colazzo of Miami, Florida, claims she stashed her $1,800 bugaboo stroller in the resort stroller parking lot and then returned... Uh, with her family, when she returned to pick it up, it was gone, missing her wallet, car keys, and niece's EpiPen. Uh, so basically what happened is, <laughs> I mean, you see, like, this is what the strollers look like at Disney. Like, this yeah. is hell, dude. This is hell. Nightmare. Fuel. Um, but, uh, <laughs> here's the footage of the lady putting her daughter in a $1,800 stroller that's not hers. <laughs> and just dipping. <laughs> and, just dipping. <laughs> and then they found it. <laughs> He found it on a Facebook like marketplace <laughs> a few weeks later, and it had already sold for five hundred dollars. Hell yeah! And they also found that she <laughs> stole a bunch of other people's strollers, <laughs> and she was just doing this. And just <laughs> Hell yeah! Strollers. She just stole like five strollers. <laughs> the only part I don't like about it is that the if that EpiPen part is true, <laughs> yeah. but surely Disney's got EpiPens around. I think but stealing it, strollers is a lot less cool than stealing like animatronics from Disney. Uh, stealing an eighteen hundred dollar Bugaboo stroller, right? But also, what do you even fucking do if all your keys and shit, you're at Disney and your wallet and keys are gone? You can't, like, leave. <laughs> you can't, like, prove who you are. Yeah. You can't pay for anything new. <laughs> like, that would just fuck you over so bad. But Bryston said, if you have it's an 18... 18- too. Yeah. Bryston said, if you have an $1,800 stroller, good. I'm going to steal it. That's yeah, that's what Bryston what I thought. said. <laughs> he said, I'm stealing that stroller. Mm-hmm. I don't oh. need to, that nice of a stroller. How could a stroller be that nice? The bugaboos, dude. They're from Australia. We were looking into them a little bit, and they, <laughs> they do look pretty nice. But it's like eighteen hundred, eighteen hundred dollars nice. nice. Is that uh, why you were looking at children's designer clothes last night. Yeah, that was me and Bryson got on a tangent. He's thinking about having a little b- a boy and putting Gucci on. Him. <laughs> He's gonna. He said, "My my Gucci son is what he keeps calling him." I don't understand. <laughs> But you're my Gucci son. That's the buzzy heist. That is the Patrick Spikes blatant taunting story. And um, the girlfriend that took the picture of the dress didn't get in any trouble. The Haunted Mansion dress. Uh, You know, she probably definitely knew that was like a vintage dress. (laughs) That was stolen. But I just think the whole thing is crazy that it even got it even happened if they did steal it it's crazy if they didn't steal it it's crazy because like one way or another disney fucked up and didn't have footage of it happening or disney so mismanaged 
and fucking, you know, corrupt that they didn't realize that they moved a six hundred dollar four hundred or six hundred pound four hundred thousand dollar prop <laughs> with no documentation past the point of no return where they already like accused him of it. But shout out Patrick Spikes. Shout out Buzzy, even though you hate Buzzy. Um, Dave. Buzzy's grown on me, I'm yeah. gonna say. I don't care whether he's in a swamp or not, but the the story of Buzzy has grown on me. Yeah, I think this has just been the story of a whole bunch of idiots. <laughs> a bunch of idiots barely yeah. getting by. Um, a bunch of fucking maroons. The weirdest heist story that ever happened. No. No? No. It's the weirdest heist. Bro, off the top of my head, couldn't tell you. There's some good heists. I'm going to do a heist episode next. All right, next. But a real the, heist. The perfect crime is the one you've never heard of. That's true. Bro, how can people escape it in helicopters? Oh, new theory. Buzzy. I stole him. That was just for the attention. Something much, much bigger went missing stole the at, castle. at Disney that day that they still haven't found out about. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a, it's been a while. while. It's been a while. Hashtag find Buzzy. Fuck Buzzy. Thank you.